Cincinnati Bengals pass rusher Joseph Osai made a demoralizing mistake in the AFC Championship game, pushing Patrick Mahomes and leading to a game-winning field goal for the Kansas City Chiefs. After the game, many of his teammates lifted him up. Osai was emotional, crushing the fantastic game he was having with one rough mistake. However, Bengals linebacker Jermaine Pratt had no love for Osai following the game. Just watch the video. Oh, you not doing it. This motherfucker last year. The fuck? Why the fuck you cut the quarterback? The video went viral and it appears Jermaine Pratt has addressed it via the comment section of an Instagram post. In an Instagram comment section, the linebacker wrote, Yeah, people will post anything on social media for likes and views. I have real feelings. Sometimes they are raw. If you love something as much as I do, sometimes things will be said in the heat of the moment. But I know what type of teammate I am and what type of man I am. Trust me, no love lost. I'm hurt. Remember, some people will hate you, rate you, and shake you and try to break you, but I will stand tall like always. After the game, B.J. Hill supports teammate Joseph Asai. Bengals defensive end Joseph Asai stood at his locker with tears in his eyes as he answered questions about the back-breaking rough and the passer penalty he committed, but he didn't do it alone. His teammate B.J. Hill stood shoulder to shoulder with his fellow D-lineman, providing much-needed support for his friend. Dumb question. Come on. He, been, he played his butt off the whole game. Actually, okay. actually, a different question. Overall, I mean, what it looked like guys were coming up to you on the sideline as you went through that. I mean, what was it like having guys come up and then kind of go? Uh, kind of like I said, it was great knowing that I had my the support of my teammates, and um, I just gotta, I gotta like Sam was saying, I gotta learn from experience, and um, I gotta know not to not to get close to that quarterback when he's close to that sideline. If, if it's anything that could uh, possibly cause a penalty in a dire situation like that, I gotta do better. Things are happening so fast there, obviously. Do you, do you, did you have any idea you were, you were at that sideline there? I mean, obviously you're in full chase. and you know. Yeah, I was just in full chase mode, and I was trying to, um, I was trying to push him to maybe um, get him going backwards because I knew he was going for that sideline. I was trying to make him go backwards, get that clock running. But um, I, I didn't know. I, I haven't seen it yet. I didn't know how far out of bounds we were. But, um, yeah. Did you get injured on that yeah, my knee buckled a little bit, but we're um, we're gonna take care of him and get an MRI done tomorrow. Which knee? The right knee. What did Zach tell you after the game? Uh, he just told me to keep my head up. Told me um, there were a bunch of different plays we had to make that it didn't come down to that one, and uh, we just got to keep moving forward. What your teammates told you? Same, same exact thing. They've been super supportive, and um, you know, it's just I just got I got I got to be better, but they they've been very supportive. How hard is that to kind of maybe kind of not put all that weight on you as you go through this? I mean, it's just. Yeah, it's, it's extremely hard, what? man. Come on, man. I'm sure it's tough. I just want to ask him about it. That's a really question, bro. Come on. Does, does the, the support you're getting, is that a sign of kind of the culture that, that feeds this team? For sure, absolutely. We're, we're one big family. It's not it's not fake, you know. And um, when the going gets tough, you know, start pointing fingers. We lift each other up. And um, I'm just I'm just happy I got this, these group of guys around me supporting me right now because it's, it's hard. Joseph T, you don't have a full season this year. Despite Osai clearly feeling responsible for the loss, his teammates and coaches have said that the second-year player is not the reason the Bengals lost. In fact, during a post-game interview, head coach Zach Taylor attempted to change the narrative, saying one play does not dictate the result of an entire 60-minute football game.